Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back and today we are going to discussing about how we can able to create a parameterization and also assertion, soft assertion and hard assertion and also skipping the test cases how we can able to create. These are the things we are going to dis uh, discussing about that. Okay. <clears throat> And in my previous video also we saw about how we can able to decorate uh, like uh, fixes and all we saw right and here i'm going to use for test underscore skip test i'm going to specifying okay and here i'm going to use for import by test and then i'm going to use for here <clears throat> def test underscore skip this is my function okay print it and i'm going to skip this function okay and also i'm going to create one more function that is a test underscore other it ab add and again i'm going to use for print add user function okay now if i want to skip this particular one how we can able to skip means we can able to use for there is a py test py test dot mark dot skip skip function <clears throat> okay you can see here this particular function what will happen it is not display the documentation okay the documentation wise like normal wise what you can able to this skip if you are running if you run this particular one right it will uh, not run for this particular skip code okay <clears throat> if you are going to use for file name test underscore skip test dot py you can see there is a one passed one skipped for deal selector leave it because uh, there are uh, files are presented inside the py test one we are not calling that right that's why it is showing for those methods also not called that's why it is the deselected things it is showing okay one pass one skipped okay we are skipping for this particular file this particular function that's why it is showing that particular one okay and if you want to use for parameterization then how we can able to use it for this again i'm going to create another python file that is a test underscore params okay this is a file i'm going to use it and i'm going to import my pytest okay then i'm going to creating for one particular function that is a define test underscore login at the login is required to get for username comma password this is the thing it required this is a parameterization purpose right and i'm going to specify that okay username and password is required i am going to print for that username username and comma and i'm going to specify for username comma again and the double quotation again i'm going to use for some space then comma and again double quotation password and specifying some information comma <clears throat> password okay similar format here also i'll keep it two equals okay this is the name i'm going to specify i just i'll uh, mark it as a small name n itself what we can do n and like this is the one i'll specify <clears throat> okay now i want to get the data right for the data getting purpose we need to use some code for this def get data just i'm going to create for one tuple to get that one okay just uh, returning and the return i'm going to use for my tuple option and here i'm going to use for uh locish and comma one two three four five comma and again 
new tuple that is uh, Loki. Okay, and comma one, two, three, four. Okay, and this is that my tuple, and I want to read the data, right? For reading data purpose, what I can do, right? This particular function I'll copy, and I'm going to take here after password just i'm going to make it for this particular one reference okay oh oh sorry we need to use a parameterization right for the parameterization we need to use for decorator pytest dot marker a dot there is a parameterizer, okay? That is the method is presented, okay? And here, you need to remember it, which is the username and password you provided in, the, in this function, right? The same name you have to follow here as well. It's in the double quotation, username, comma, so inside that, password, password, comma, and get data this is the fixes i'm provided okay now if i run now it will take as a parameterization okay now again i'm going to take my file not this is a script not the script test as a params test okay if i run now you can see two times it is executed one is location another password and again it is passed loki and one two three four Okay, two times it got passed. This is a parameterization. You can able to use for parameterization purpose. There is a function you can create and the function you can able to use for inside the parameterization and you can able to implement that. Okay, that also it will work for that. Okay, here just I'm printed. In real time, as yes, the printing is not uh, uh, important one. It's a different approach. Okay, and here again, I'm going to take for there is a assertions test underscore assert okay the python file i created import pytest okay then i need to use for in this pytest i need to assert something okay now i'm not going to use for any kind of uh, uh, decorators just i'm going to show you for how the assertion we can able to use it okay <clears throat> def a test underscore valid validate anything title or url anything you can able to use for main purpose i'm going to use for title and here expected underscore result there's a variable creation okay the variable creation also no need to define for any kind of uh, <coughs> string type integer type which directly we can able to create and we can able to use it i can use for location or we can able to use for google okay and actual underscore result okay and here i'm going to use for gmail okay now i need to use for if sorry here braces also not required space actual is equal to equal to expected result and colon this is a if condition okay now i'm going to print here i can able to use it for <clears throat> test pass or else we can able to use for else colon and again print and here we can able to use for test fail okay as per the this it should be fail correct now if i run this particular file not params that is assertion assert dot py okay now if i run see still it is showing pass but the test case is fail right now i don't want like this but i want to do for different approach okay that is called we can able to use another function type there is a <clears throat> assert we can able to specify true 
to comma i can able to message like test case pass okay and also i can able to use for assert false then test case fail okay now if i run now see previous it is shown the pass now if i run the same one now it is showing for fail test case fail assert got false okay the assertion test case is fail you can able to see where it is got failed also it will show that error message okay and if you want you don't want this kind of information you want for some different approaches like uh, soft assertion you want to install and you need to do it means there are two ways we can able to install in uh, install for soft assertion hard assertion it will be like this or else you can able to use for another format <clears throat> i'll make it sorry another format also there there is a assert we can able to specify here Oh, uh, sorry. Actual result equal to equal to expected result. This is a one format, okay. And also, in case if you don't if you don't want this format, also there is another format. In case you want to validate some set of information only, then you can able to use for assert expected result n. In title, in <clears throat> you can use for actual. That also you can try. In is a method to validate for whether that particular information presented inside that particular uh, expected one or not. That is the one we can able to see. Okay, but this all the cases it will fail for more. More things, but also it will show for this kind of information. But I don't want this kind of information. I want different approaches. How we can able to do it means again go to here in the settings, click on a plus, and here search for PyTest iPhone. You can soft soft assertion here PyTest soft assertion. You can able to install this one. Okay, once you install this one. It will give you for success. Okay, close this one and okay. Then open your terminal and run again. Here the last what you can able to do right? iPhone 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 iPhone. You can able to use for soft iPhone assert a s s e r t assert. Oh, assets. Yeah, you can able to assets. Yes, you need to mention last. Okay, I'll copy this command and to our notepad. You can see the properly. <clears throat> this is the one. Iphone, Iphone, soft Iphone assets. If you specify this one right, it will give you for this kind of information. Previous, it is provided. Like this, and failed, and this one. But after you running this particular test case, the title validation is failed here, and also it is given self soft assertion, and also it is expected for the particular location. What exactly expected? What the condition? What is the current value? Everything it is provided. Right? It is a false and fail, and everything it is provided in detailed format. Okay, like this you can able to validate also, and you can able to see this is conditions type also you can see more information. Okay, this is a way we can able to do for pi test things. Okay, in the next video session what I can do right, I'll do for appm integration into the pi test. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues, and don't forget to comment on this video. Thank you.